What is up everybody around blue back again with another video for you guys. I am going to be doing a quick guitar lesson to what I did on plastic off the sofa by Beyonce. This album is really starting to grow on me in a matter of two days and a minute I'm going to have to recant my original video and I don't mind doing it. I don't mind being wrong. That's the beauty of music. Once it grows on you, it sticks on you. Um, but plastic off the couch is really dope. It's a lot of guitar, and I'm just gonna show you guys a little bit of what I was doing on the uh, uh, on the cover that I did, which will be in the link in the description below if you guys want to check out the cover. Um, so let's just jump right into it. All right, guys. So the first chord that we have is an F sharp major seven, and I was using a pick, but right now, currently, I'm using um, you know my fingers, um, but. So what we're gonna do is use your index finger, put that on the ninth fret of the fifth string, bar it all the way down to the first string. You're gonna use your middle finger, put that on the third string, 10th fret. Your ring finger is gonna be on the 11th fret um, of the fourth string. Your pinky is gonna be on that second, second string, 11th fret, um, and that is your uh, F sharp major seven. Like I teach in every last one of my guitar covers, um, once you learn that chord shape, you can use it all over the place. And it just gives you a little bit more familiarity um, with uh, the fretboard, um, whether you're gonna play a different song or if you're gonna play this song in a different key, um, you have the ability to do that once you get familiar with this actual chord shape, so. Right? Now, the hugest difference in this particular, uh, the chord change is that I believe this is like an augmented F, F major augmented seven, something like that. But anyway, all you're really doing is the chord sounds so much more complicated than what it actually is. The same chord shape, all you're doing is releasing your pinky right there, right? So. And you just want to make it as clean as possible um, so you can hear the subtle change because it is extremely subtle, but it's it's powerful for the song, right? So then what it does from there, what I go into is a bluesy type. I, I harmonize with her uh, riff um, in the bass. That's like she's she's like riffing with the bass. Um, so it kind of does, does something like then right back into the right so then now now this is a f sharp uh major uh blue scale um i'm not gonna really go too in depth in that but um if you guys know your blue scale is very simple Right, but then what it actually does is she goes into a key lower, um, and it goes into da -da 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 -da. so it's right, and then it goes back into right. So it's really it's a really simple song. You just have to be aware of the subtle changes that it does, um, and then also too. Um, right after it goes into the, the intro, it's just kind of, you want to make it as clean as possible, right? So it's, then it's, then the beat starts to drop. So then it does like, then the riff, the first riff, Right, so now I'm just gonna show you guys the um, the lifting up part or the embellishment of the major seven. Now, what that is, is you're just using that same chord shape that I taught earlier, but your pinky is free, right? Because remember, we're doing this and then lifting it up for that augmented chord. 
Then the pinky is free to give some embellishments on that 11th fret of the first and second string, hammering on and off of that. Right? So with these embellishments, for me, I try not to do so much of it because Beyonce is singing and you just kind of want to even it out. But, you know, do what you feel is most comfortable. Um, but, yeah, that's pretty much the whole song, guys. It's extremely easy. Um, like I said, I'm going to have the description, uh, the link in the description for the cover. So you could kind of cross-reference what I'm saying now to that. And also the guitar lesson will be in the a link in the description of the actual guitar cover. Um, so, but if you guys have any questions, feel free to drop it in the comments. I'll try to help you guys as much as I can. I don't know how to read tabs. I'm just, I just learn by ear. Um, and yeah, um, just take your time with this. Sometimes I know learning a guitar can be extremely frustrating. But take your time, slow this video down, play it back as many times as you need to, to really get a feel of the song. It's a fun song to learn once you learn it. Um, hey, if you enjoyed the video, like, share, subscribe. Until next time, peace.